What up, gymmers? All right, y'all, if you want balance exercises that are gonna help you stand better, walk better, change directions better, and prevent falling, you do not wanna miss today's video. Let's go. What's up, MS Gym YouTube family? My name's Trevor Wicken, and I'm the founder and creator of The MS Gym, the largest platform for movement, mindset, and education for people affected by MS and neurodegenerative conditions. So we release videos pretty often, so make sure that you go down and click subscribe on this page so you don't miss any of the awesome videos that come out. And please stick around till the end of the video for I, I always will have some kind of offer and special offerings for you watching this video so that you can come train with us. All right, Jimmer, so what we're gonna work on today is stepping into that frontal plane, stopping your movement, and then coming back to center. This is gonna help a lot with lateral stability in your upper body, lateral stability in your lower body. A lot of times when people fall, it's when their feet, they get their feet shifting to the side too much and they fall this way. So this exercise is really gonna help with balance and fall prevention. So quickly, look at this diagram. We're gonna be moving in the frontal plane. The frontal plane, look at me, is like if you're doing a jumping jack or if you're doing a snow angel or something along those lines. It's in this frontal plane this way. Super important to find lateral stability and improve frontal plane stability um, and movement because th that's the plane of motion that when you're trying to walk forward, it's preventing you from falling to the side, especially when you take a step and you lift that other leg to step forward. That, that lateral frontal strength is gonna make sure you don't fall to the side, which is where a lot of people fall and what is very threatening to your brain. All right, Jimmer, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a side step into a super duper mini lunge, and then we're coming back to center. Now you can do this facing a wall, you can do this with a chair in front of you, a rollator in front of you, a, a kitchen counter or a sink in front of you, whatever's gonna make you feel safe. So what we're gonna do here, hips are about hip width apart. Okay, nice soft knee bend, abs are in, shoulder blades down, nice tall spine. So I'm gonna have you take a step to the side, and, sh and sit down into this leg. You're gonna sit into this glute. So we're gonna kind of push that butt back. So we're gonna sit back, okay? And then we're gonna push back to center. So we're gonna step, sit back. And if you wanna come down and touch your leg, that's a very good tactile cue for your brain. And then we come back to center, okay? And then we'll do it on both sides. So I'm gonna do about three to the right, three to the left. I typically recommend that you do between 10 and 20 reps to the right and to the left one to two times a day. It will really help out your vestibular system, okay? All right, so blades down, abs in, booty tight. Ready, step to the right, sit down into the leg. Just come down and touch like mid-thigh. Now you're gonna push off this leg and come back to center. So push off this leg, okay? So go ahead and inhale, step, and then breathe out. So step, exhale. Now inhale and step back to center. Now exhale and step to the side. Now inhale and step back to center. Now exhale, step back to the side. Now inhale back to center. Good, let's switch sides. So when you step, I want you to exhale so you engage your abs and your core. When you step back to center, I want you to inhale so that it pulls your body up back to that starting position. Okay, here we go, so inhale. Step and exhale. Now pull those abs in. Inhale, step back to center. Now step and exhale. Now back to center and inhale. Now step out and exhale. Now step back to center and inhale. And that's how you do it. Okay, so when you do that, when you step to the side, that's going to work on gluteal strength, stopping the momentum that's created from you stepping to the side. As you come back to center, you're going to push off of your glute and use your adductors to pull back this way. So it creates a very nice activation of your kinetic chain through your hips, your legs, and your upper body. If you want more exercises just like this one to help you improve your balance, your strength, and your mobility, 
then I invite you to check out our free mini balance camp. This program is specifically designed to target the balance centers in your brain so that you can move better. We've had a ton of gymmers use it and they are raving about it saying that this program is a game changer. So all you need to do to get started is go ahead and click the link below in the description and I will see you on the inside.